Well, good morning. Welcome back to the broadcast of the Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRN AM for Friday, November 19th, 2021. And our top story today, getting prepped if you're going to hit the road or the skies for the Thanksgiving holiday. Well, joining me now to discuss this and a lot more, Andrew Gross is with AAA. Andrew, great to see you again. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. My pleasure, Jeffrey. And we're going to talk about Thanksgiving travel, but let's something we always, you and I always talk about is keeping our hands on 10 and 2. Uh, you've got some new information there. I do, Jeffrey. I was sitting in on another interview with uh, our director of driver training. And this and the topic of steering wheels came up because there is a car manufacturer out there that is has this idea of a yoke steering wheel versus the round wheel that we all have. And this and this reporter wanted to know what AAA thought of it. And we actually don't have an opinion on it because this is it's one manufacturer and it's an option. And as far as we know, no one has opted for a yoke steering wheel yet. However, it, what did come up was that uh, the driver training guy said, you know, the old 10 and 2, that's gone. We're now advocating 9 and 3. So after the interview was over, I said, why, what happened to nine and two? And he says, nine and two was great a long time ago when you had those much bigger, thinner steering wheels and you didn't have power steering. But now with power steering and the smaller padded steering wheels and more natural and easier to control uh, hand position is nine and three. So there you have it. There we have it. There you have it, folks. If you stick around we're going to continue themes throughout all of our programming. All right, Andrew, let's talk about hitting the road to visit grandma for Thanksgiving. What's the forecast this year? It, the forecast for this year is that this Thanksgiving travel period is going to feel a lot like the travel periods of old, the pre-pandemic travel period. We're projecting that about 53.4 million Americans are going to be traveling for this Thanksgiving, which is a 13% increase over last year. And it's just a little less than what uh, what we saw back in 2019. Now, remember of that big 53.4 million people number, uh, about 90% of those folks are gonna be traveling by car this year. So that's about 48.3 million traveling by car and about 4.2 million will uh, take to the skies. Yeah, that's, well, I, look, I think it's finally getting back to some level of normalcy, whether it's the vaccinations, the reduction of COVID uh, cases uh, around parts of the country, or just people longing to be with family, I would say this is good news. We all like in-person visitation. I miss my parents. I miss my mom and miss my dad, my brother, um, and their significant others. So I I'm sure people are excited to get back on the road. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I, I have heard it said that this might be our first vax giving because you have more people <laughs> in the family who are now getting vaccinated. You know, you now have kids starting at age five who will have at least one dose uh, and then uh, from five all the way up to 105. So this, uh, you know, families are beginning to feel maybe a little more comfortable uh, for multi-generational families. Everybody getting together and under one roof. Uh, yeah. And that could be. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, we're seeing travel really tick up this year. Yeah. And, and, and look, I'm not a doctor, yet I play one on TV. And I'll just say, just to remind everyone, hey, you're you know, hitting the road, vaccinations. But remember, follow the CDC guidelines wherever you may be uh, and make sure you're aware. Uh, for example, here in Mecklenburg County in Charlotte, we have we have mask mandates. So if you're going into a restaurant, got to wear a mask. That might be different. I read uh, my favorite hockey team is the Washington Capitals. They're actually lifting the mask mandate in D.C. So, Andrew, really got to check where you're going and what you need to wear or not wear. That's right. Check where you're going. Uh, and, and, you know, we always like to advise folks, play it safe anyway, particularly when you're driving. You know, have a mask in the car because you just don't know along the way who you may be bumping into or rubbing shoulders with. So it's probably better off you know, trying to play it safe. And also if you're flying or taking a train, remember when you're walking through the airport, keep a mask on. When you're sitting on the airplane, keep a mask on. And and particularly when it comes to flying, where it's, it's a good time to maybe remind everybody, be kind and courteous to the flight attendants and to the airline workers. They're working this holiday period to get you where you wanna go. 
follow the instructions, listen to what they say, and just do what you are told. Yeah, and you look, being nasty, it never gets you anywhere. Just gets you more nasty. Turn that frown upside down. Real quick, Andy, before we go, Andrew, before we go to the break, uh, how, how are the airlines uh, doing? Is, are they going to get a complete rebound here? Um, you know, are they in recovery mode? Are they staffing flights? You mentioned the flight attendants doing a lot of hard work, the, the baggage handlers. There's a lot of people that work behind the scenes. Um, what, uh, you know, any, any thoughts about that? Yeah, you know, we have, uh, you know, we've seen over the past few weeks, particularly I think around Columbus Day, um, there were some issues with at least one airline. And, and, and also there's been some questions about TSA staffing. And so we've seen some airlines run into troubles and have some cancellations and delays. So keep that in the back of your mind. Will that happen this Thanksgiving? We don't know. Uh, we certainly hope that the airlines and the TSA know that Thanksgiving is coming. So hopefully they've got their staffing situation worked out. But we're telling folks, look, you know, be forewarned. Have this knowledge in the back of your mind. Uh, get to the airport early. If it's, a, if it's a domestic flight, get there at least two hours early. If you are fortunate enough to be traveling internationally this year, get there three hours early. If you have pre-check or clear, that's probably not going to help you this year if TSA is struggling. Those lines are going to be long too. So still get to the airport early, even if you have those benefits. Um, if you haven't booked a flight yet, we're telling folks, uh, look, Monday would, might be your best shot in terms of finding the cheapest flights. The flights are going to be more expensive and probably already booked up on Tuesday and Wednesday. And if you are worried about delays and cancellations, book the first flight in the morning because that's the flight that's least likely to run into troubles. You know, delays and cancellations kind of have a domino cascading effect the longer the day goes on. Yeah, I want to talk more about that. And I always feel like, you know, we're going to go to commercial break, but I just want to make a little quip here that I always feel like everyone has TSA pre because those lines are usually longer than the regular lines. And look, if the line's shorter, I'm willing to take off my shoes, undo my belt, you name it, you can have it. Andrew, I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about more tips, tricks, and expectations when it comes to approaching holiday travel. You're going to want to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Are you over 50? Would you like to get up to 33% more income in retirement? Then call now for this free book, Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers. This free book reveals little known secrets about annuity strategies that will help you make the right choices before buying an annuity. Call right now for your free book. And as a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report, both absolutely free for calling Annuity General today. Call 800-504-8194. Welcome back. We're talking holiday travel this morning with Andrew Gross of AAA. Andrew, thanks as always for staying 
with us this morning. Sure, my pleasure. All right, one of the, the you, every website when you're booking travel, there's a little box and it says, do you want travel insurance? And a lot of people, Andrew, say, nah, I'm not gonna pay the extra, extra money to do it because I'm going. But you have some, uh, you have some good helpful tips around this. Yeah, AAA is saying this year, don't ignore that box, check the box. It, it, it'll give you a lot of peace of mind because we've seen that there have been some delays and cancellation issues with airlines recently, particularly on peak travel weekend periods. And Thanksgiving is certainly one of those. Are we predicting that that's going to happen this year? No, but you just don't know. So play it safe, have a little peace of mind, check that box. And then that way, if something does happen to your flight and it's canceled, at least you have a reasonable expectation of being able to get a refund. Yeah, and, and also the thing that, you, one of the things I really like when you talked about in the first segment that I wanna just hone in on, if you travel, if you make plans and you travel out early enough, it really gives you time to find contingency flights if your travel is booked. Usually, Andrew, that first flight out, it usually goes unless there's like a snowstorm or air traffic issue or et cetera. So, you know, getting there early and, and finding out if there are alternatives, you got to plan ahead for this year. Yeah, you really got to plan ahead and be tracking. Uh, you know, here's another thing, uh, be tracking the weather. You know, that, that's one thing that folks sort of don't pay much attention to. But I'm already hearing rumblings that the weather starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, anywhere from Chicago through New York, and, the, and, the, and those are big air and road corridors could get pretty dicey this coming week, which may complicate uh, Thanksgiving travel plans for a lot of folks. So be, keep that all in mind and just, uh, you know, kind of <laughs> keep your, keep yourself focused on trying to get where you want to go. You know, Andrew, maybe what they need to do is for everybody who's getting on a flight, the airlines need to like, just give everyone the free calm app and everyone can just sit there and meditate. Uh, Andrew, <laughs> I don't know where I can, I don't know how or why I came up with that one. But, um, you know, Andrew, uh, really important, as you said, plan ahead. What about rental cars? Um, remember when we let, one of the times we last spoke, rental cars were really hard to get. Are they still hard to get? I mean, cars in general, hard to lease buy right now. Yeah, you're right. And that was a real problem around Memorial Day and Fourth of July. There was that there was that rental car crunch. And we have heard anecdotally that it has been alleviated to a certain extent. And I don't think folks are going to be running into that so much this time because Thanksgiving, it's a five day travel period. It's very family oriented. And with 90% of the people traveling by car, and that's usually their own car, uh, rental car issues and shortages probably won't be as big a factor this time. Andrew, for those gassing up the family trucks that are trekking across the country, gas prices, boom, hit, really hit a, uh, uh, crescendo in terms of increase. We've, to that note, we've, we've seen a lot of increases, a lot of prices. What can we expect if you're hitting the road? They're like, I think you said 40 million people planning to hit the ro road of the 53 uh, and change million. Um, what do we need to know about gas prices and where can we check out the latest gas price information? Well, you can go to gasprices.aaa.com and that'll show you the national gas average. And then, it, then if you hover the little cursor over the state, it'll tell you that state average. So if you're, say, going to Oklahoma, which right now has the cheapest gas prices in America, they're still, the Oklahoma's average is still below $3 a gallon, which is amazing. I think they're like $2.99. Um, but you can hover over each state and it'll give you that state average. And then if you click on the state, you can then check on the county. And then if you poke around a little further, it actually it breaks it out by municipality. So it's a great little uh, planning tool. But you're right, gasoline prices have been high and they've been they've been sort of creeping northward since since like August, really. And uh, lately they have leveled off a little bit. Consumers have caught a bit of a break. The national average had, had been 342 and it's crept back down to about 341. A lot of that upward momentum seems to have pulled back a little bit. And a lot of that has to do with um, seasonal driving changes. Post Labor Day, uh, driving demand typically tails off. And this year also, we, we caught a little bit of a seasonal break with the end of daylight savings time. Because these shorter days, people tend to drive a little less. You know, when it's dark at 4.30, 5 o'clock, 
you don't tend to tack on a lot of side trips when you're heading home. You just get in the car and you head home. Well, all, all good uh, information, Andrew, and you got to arm yourself and also keep track of your expectations. Don't think you're getting on the flight. Uh, you may sit on the tarmac for five, 10 minutes, an hour. You never, you never know, but be prepared, bring some games, bring some snacks, whatever you can do to occupy yourself. Andrew Gross, always a pleasure chatting with you and the folks at AAA. Enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday, and we look forward to having you back again very soon. Thank you. That wraps up this episode of BRN AM. Have a topic of interest, someone you think we should talk to, drop us a line. And don't forget, for all the information in retirement markets, technology, personal finance, so much more, check out today's edition of our daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse. We're back again tomorrow, this time for BRN Weekly. We'll have a very special guest, and then we'll take a look at some of our best segments for the week. Until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Are you being audited, and do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Call 800-224-6439.